west from New Guinea, one finds an area of about 50,000 square kilometers, including 1,800 limestone islands. This area, according to experts, contains the most abundant fish and coral reefs. Here, in the middle of the Indo-Pacific, out of the deep blue sea, rise the four kings, better known as Raja Ampat. Especially among divers, the secluded destination has lately been gaining lots of popularity. As a result of this development, the choice between traditional but luxurious resorts or liveaboards is growing quickly. It becomes clear it is worth it to travel all the way to this isolated corner of the world once you put your head under water. The mere abundance and diversity of life is incredible. At times the colors even seem unreal and some of the creatures you can find underwater look as if they were from another planet. Seventy-five percent of all known coral species are found in this varied topography, making this area very interesting. On top of that, there are more than 1,400 species of free fish and countless other fascinating marine creatures, which you can find diving here. It truly is an explosion of life. However, Raja Ampat has more to offer than just the underwater world. Even on land, this destination is very diverse. Pristine beaches, tropical vegetation and protective mangroves provide ideal living conditions for many land animals. But how is the increased public interest of the Western world 
affecting the roughly 60,000 Papuans, natives to this region. It might surprise you that they gladly share the treasures and culture with us visitors. It could be because many of the resorts are working closely together with the locals for each other's benefit. Whether or not this Western influence is only positive is a different question. But at least for now, the Papuans haven't lost any of their joy for life and are happy for every visit.